Good afternoon guys. Me and Raya are driving into London. We're gonna grab some lunch. I've got one thing to do today, which is to get my iPhone fixed. I bought that iPhone after I broke mine in um, the Ivory Coast. And uh, it's been buggy, like it's just switching off and stuff. So I'm heading into the Apple store. And um, yeah, then we might find something to get up to this afternoon. Here we are guys. Westfield, Westfield Shopping Centre. Check this car out. And that paint job as well. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And we found the perfect place for lunch. Pho, or pho. I've been desperate for this for like months, literally months, some Vietnamese food. Awesome, thank you so much. Hey. Check this out. That is what I'm talking about. I think the pho place is owned by the same people as Wagamama's because the drinks were all the same. This little spoon is the same. And it basically all looks the same. Raya's tasting all of her leaves. That one's mint. Yeah, I know. It's very tasty. To be fair, I have no idea what this is. Yeah. Does it taste good? Yeah. It is time for my Genius Bar appointment. Uh, I'm hopefully going to get this replaced or fixed or something. Hey, I've got a Genius Bar appointment. Guys, exciting news. Got a brand new iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus. They replaced it. They just gave me a brand new one, so I'm happy. But I have to wait three hours because they're going to repair the screen. <laughs> They're going to repair the screen on my uh, on my iPhone 6. Yeah. And then I might give that to Raya or something. She wants it. So guys, I have two iPhones now. Got the 6S Plus and the 6. So in a similar way to how I ended up with two cameras, I've ended up with two iPhones. If you remember, I, I left this one in a taxi on the Ivory Coast and then had to buy this in an emergency on the way home. So uh, yeah, now I've got two, and I think Raya would uh, would love this one because she's only got like an iPhone 5, I think. So I'm going to go and find her because she's been patiently waiting for hours whilst I've been sorting all this stuff out. She's uh, trying on some more winter clothes. Merry Christmas. What? Merry Christmas. Because <laughs> you can have a new phone. <laughs> But it might be too big for you. It's not too bad. It's for big people's hands. No, oh, this, that is, one. <laughs> this is for big people's hands. That's insane. <laughs> look at all three together. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's, it's like a family. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check this out. We saw it when we arrived. It's a Tesla charging station. How awesome and futuristic does that look? It's going to be the future, guys. We're all going to have Teslas or electric cars anyway. So Raya's still not feeling very well. She, uh, she's a little bit worried she might have malaria because we were in a malaria area, a malaria area, uh, without any tablets and she got quite a few mosquito bites, so we might go to the doctors tomorrow and just get a little check. Apparently it's quite an easy test. Anyway, she's, she's in bed and um, I just got a hot water bottle for her and made her a, a chamomile tea, which I'm gonna take up. Night, Dad. Enjoy, Night. Your, enjoy your marking. Yeah. <laughs> the life of a teacher. Hey. Hi. I brought your tea, it's Thank hot. You. And your hot water bottle. Thank you. How are you feeling? Okay. Yeah, super laugh. And then tomorrow we can go to the doctors. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not malaria. <laughs> so Raya's all tucked up in bed, recovering. Hopefully she hasn't got malaria, but we'll find out tomorrow. 
and before I head to bed I thought I'd come out and do a little low light test with the A7S II and I thought we could do a little nighttime tour of Cobham, the town I grew up in and um, see what kind of footage we can capture with this bad boy. So the first thing I'm noticing with this camera is that you can just film the stars. Check that out. Stars. On film. That's pretty nuts. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I can't go over this. This is going to change everything for my nighttime vlogging. You, you can't understand how dark it is in this park. On the camera, it just looks like it's really well lit, but it is like pitch black in there. So I'm gonna go for a little wonder, see what else we can uncover. It's like having a, literally like having night vision goggles. Well guys, this is our local village hall. This is basically where we all had our birthday parties when we were like five. And the opposite is uh, an old people's home. I think having grown up in Cobham, and for those of you that have grown up in one town, when you're younger, you don't fully appreciate or see the beauty in that town. But for me, now that I've traveled the world and spent a lot of time away from Cobham, when I do come back to visit my parents and stuff, I think it does strike me how amazing this place is and all the things it does have to offer. And I think for you that are stuck in one place, um, I think it's easy to overlook the, the great things are local areas have to offer and uh, yeah I'd urge you to just to look for that in your local town and whilst I'm back here I'm going to be doing that every day I may not be adventuring the world right now but I'm, uh, I'm going to be adventuring the town I grew up in right I'm going to take you somewhere a little bit creepy guys this is the local cemetery and um, you can have a little walk through here because it's going to be quite dark and spooky. Check it out. I think this is the oldest street in Cobham. Check out some of these buildings. Yeah, check that out. Built in 1432. I'm getting all nostalgic walking around Cobham at night. I haven't done this in probably 10 years. And uh, I used to, used to be quite therapeutic for me walking around. But since I've started YouTube, my pace of life has sped right up and I haven't had the chance to slow down and see the beauty in the detail. And I think that's something I want to do a lot more. Well, I'm incredibly impressed with this camera's capability. It's made me excited about vlogging at night. Let me know what you think, guys, whether the quality is uh, much better, whether you notice. And um, yeah, I'll try and do some other tests. I'll, I'll try and see what else this is capable of. Tomorrow morning, my friend Harry Hitchens is coming down to interview me for an episode of his podcast, which uh, I've been trying to do for months, but I keep on leaving the country. So he's, uh, he's coming down tomorrow, which should be fun. And, um, and then we're going to make some plans for the rest of the week. Raya's actually booked flights to leave to Amsterdam on Sunday. So... We're going to have the rest of this week together and then we're parting ways for a little bit. But I'm hoping to show her some of uh, Cobham and head up into London and show her some of my favourite spots and take you guys with us as well. If you know of any cool places I can take her, something romantic, and that'd be pretty cool. Let me know in the comments. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Boom.